Did you know traffic stops are the leading cause of death for police officers? According to the National Law Enforcement Officers Memorial Fund, nighttime stops prove especially dangerous for both the driver and the officer. Here are three steps that can be applied during traffic stops to ensure the safety of both the driver and the officer. It is important to remember that the goal for both parties is to get home safely. When you notice the flashing lights of a police car, do the following steps. Step one, slow down. Step two, turn on hazard lights, acknowledging the officer you see the flashing lights and are complying to pull over. Step three, pull over to the right shoulder. If there is no right shoulder, find the nearest exit to pull over. Slowly proceed to a well-lit area for added safety. Step four, put the car in park and turn off the ignition. Step five, turn on the interior dome light to assist the officer with visibility into your vehicle. Step six, depending on the side of the car the officer approaches, open that side's window. On a busy highway, the officer may approach on the passenger side of the car. As the officer approaches your vehicle, it is important to comply with all the instructions given by the officer. As stated before, the goal is for both parties to get home safely. In order to achieve that goal, both parties must assist the other in a safe experience. This can be achieved in the following steps. Step 1. Place your hands at the 10 and 2 o'clock position on the steering wheel. This is to help the officer establish a visual on your hands. Step two, breathe. Yes, breathe. Whether you violated the law or not, the officer wants this experience to go as smoothly and as quickly as possible as well. The goal for all is to get home safely. Step three, when the officer asks for your documentation, slowly reach for your driver's license and proof of insurance. Step four, if the officer instructs you to step out of your vehicle for further questioning or investigation, please comply. Remember, this is not the time nor the place to argue why you have been pulled over or why you need to exit your vehicle. If there are others in the car with you, brief them to remain there unless instructed otherwise by the officer. Remember, to be calm and compliant because the goal is to get home safely. Step 5. At the conclusion of the traffic stop, the officer will issue you a ticket. The ticket should be looked upon as a receipt of the experience and not an indictment of guilt. You will have two options in response to the citation. Pay the ticket and resolve the citation immediately, or appear on the appointed court date to contest the ticket. The ticket will include the officer's name, badge number, and the details of the stop to assist you in your efforts to contest the ticket, should you desire to bring your case before the judge. Finally, once you have your ticket and have concluded the stop with the officer, give the appropriate signals and safely return to the proper lane. Beyond the settlement of the citation, whether you pay the ticket or contest the ticket in court, you have the option of filing a complaint if you feel your rights have been infringed upon during the traffic stop. It is important to choose the proper and safe form to communicate your grievance. The dangers of arguing with the officer during the traffic stop rest on you both. The outcome will always be in the officer's favor, as he or she will take measures to end the confrontation with an arrest or further actions. The driver's right to file a complaint can be realized in the form of a written statement. Completing a complaint form via the agency's website or through a visit to the police chief. All of these options will serve your needs and ensure that you and the officer get home safely after the traffic stop. We hope these tips will help both police officers and citizens experience a safe and brief traffic stop. Remember to remain calm, comply, and use the appropriate forms for contesting the ticket and filing a complaint. And as always, the most important goal during a traffic stop is for all citizens to get home safely.